in the second of our typing videos, Touch Typing and Direct Touch Typing. We've established that you can use the standard typing method to find the key or button or letter or number you want to press and double tap it to put it into your field. Uh, for some proficient typists, that does get somewhat slow. So Apple have introduced the other two types of typing using this method called direct touch typing and touch typing. The middle one, touch typing, is what I think the majority of voiceover users who are proficient QWERTYists use. So in standard typing, you find a letter and you double tap it to insert. In touch typing, the act of you lifting your finger from the letter when you found it is what causes that to be inserted. So last time we wrote the word hello by double tapping on each of the letters in the word hello. With touch typing active, we would write hello by finding the letter, but rather than tapping on them again, we'd simply lift our finger up and have those inserted. Let's give that a try. I'm going to turn my speech, speech back on. on. I'm going to find the H. Y, H. And the act of lifting my finger off the H inserts it. So you heard it say Y. I was slightly above where I should be because the Y is above the H. So I slid down slightly from the Y, heard H, lifted my finger, and that was inserted straight away. Let's see if I can do the same thing with the E. W, E, L, L. I, O, hello. And I didn't even let it say space because I knew space was at the bottom. So let's try for another word. Let's try how are you. Shall we try for a complete, a complete sentence today? H, O, W, how, A, E, R, E, R, Y, O, U, U. So as you can hear, that's a considerable improvement in speed on the double tap method because it's the act of removing your finger that triggers the insertion of the letter. Obviously, uh, you can still flick around. So let's see if we can find... Return. Uh, R how are you today? T y u i o p o, o double tap. I and let's o get to the D. A -F -D -F -D -S -A -A. Back to the P -O -R -Y. Y. So you can still double Yankee. tap on the letters to insert them. That was today. Space, today. Um, but the T of today was inserted by when I lifted my finger. Uh, so you need to be very careful combining the two methods or you'll end up inserting letters simply by looking for them. And I think that's why this method is not turned on by default, because with touch typing turned on, the act of merely touching a letter or lifting a finger off the letter, I should say, can insert the letter. And that's something that people don't always want. But it does mean if you are fairly familiar with the QWERTY layout, you can be faster than someone who has to double tap on each letter. Uh, and the only difference between this method and direct touch typing is that with direct touch typing, you bypass voiceover altogether in as much as the act of simply touching a letter inserts it rather than lifting your finger. Uh, I'm not going to demonstrate that one because I'm not very good at it. Um, I don't mind showing myself up. That's not the problem at all, but it won't be very instructional for you. So it's worth pointing out that with touch typing, it's the, the act of releasing your finger from the screen that inserts the letter. With direct touch typing, it's the simply act of touching that letter. So the, the processing of voiceover whereby it speaks and then you have to do something else to interact with the keyboard is, is removed entirely. Uh, and I do know some people who use this. So if you've got some site and you can see the keyboard, especially if you've got a high contrast uh, or color inversion on, then you don't need necessarily to have to wait to remove your finger from the, the screen to use this mode. Uh, and some very comfortable people who have really mastered the physical layout of their screen and know where the letters are very precisely use direct touch typing as well. I'm not one of them, uh, but that is what it does. Um, it simply responds to your touches as it would if voiceover wasn't running. Uh, so that's how direct touch typing works. And those are the the three input methods that Apple have in the typing mode option. They are called standard typing, where you double tap on each letter. Touch typing, where the act of lifting your finger inserts the letter. And direct touch typing, where simply the act of touching a letter will insert it. Mm -hmm.